Oh, hey YouTube, it's Sharice and I'm back with an update on this foundation. I am doing my first impression of this foundation. This is my first day wearing it. I have not touched up at all, have not powdered nor blotted since I applied this foundation at 4 p.m. And I finished my makeup around 4.15, 4.30. So it is currently 9.08 p.m. So we're gonna say that I've had it on for five hours. And actually it's looking pretty good. I am a little bit oily as you can see, and I have extra bright lights on my face, which like enhances how oily I truly look. But you see my blush is still on, my highlight's still on, all the makeup, my brows are still on. Everything that I put on is still on except the lippy because I didn't reapply it after I ate some food. But I had a couple drinks. I was outside walking dogs. Um, and I'm proud to announce that I'm gonna be a dog mom probably this coming week. So by next Saturday, I will have my own dog here and her name is Nola. And I'm super excited for you guys to meet her and I cannot wait for her to be here. So yes, I chose a dog today. And that's all I did today was literally go eat and then I drove um, a little less between an hour and 45 minutes to the southernmost part of Savannah to pick up a dog. Well, to go look at a dog to pick up and they actually are going to deliver her to me, which is great. So yeah, that's all I did. I was outside in the elements. You know, I didn't really sweat, but it's humid here. So yeah, I'm not mad at how much oil is on my face. So we're just going to blot and then I'll tell you what foundation it is. I'm just using a square of toilet paper and I'm just pressing lightly onto my face and you can already see the difference that I made. We'll do half my forehead so you can see literally how that has changed drastically. I'm just gonna go ahead and go over my whole face. And the transfer is actually very minimal on this um, piece of tissue right now. Make sure I go over my eyebrows as well. They tend to be oily. I'll show you guys how much it's transferring to. I'm pressing pretty hard now because I like to really push out all the excess oil in my skin by applying a decent amount of pressure. First I start off lightly and then I go in and really press. All right, so you can see how much transfer I got. That's not a lot at all, especially after five hours of wear with a foundation that literally costs like six or seven bucks. So what foundation am I doing a first impression on? I'm doing a first impression on the Ordinary Coverage Foundation. This is a high coverage foundation and it is in the shade 3.2 Deep Neutral, which for me is basically a perfect match. I'm looking in the mirror and it really is matching my skin tone quite beautifully on camera. It's coming off looking a little strange a little light a little weird but my lighting does that to all my foundations that match me perfectly they look kind of yellow greenish i don't know why that is but as you can see it has a beautiful skin like finish it is super lightweight feels like i have nothing on the face as you can see it doesn't have very much transfer and it's pretty oil controlling i did use a primer with it and the primer I use is the Boots Number no. 7 Beautifully Matte Makeup Base. Y'all have seen me use this before. It has salicylic acid in it. And this is one of my favorite drugstore um, primers. But yeah, this foundation so far is getting an 8.5 out of 10 for me. Um, I love the way it feels. I love the color match. It's just not as long wearing as some of my other ones. But I didn't do my trick with it. So where I use Cody Airspun Powder to set it mixed with my black oval powder. And I bet you this will last me all day and all night. So, so far I'm really liking this, this shade and this foundation from The Ordinary. Um, these colors are sold out. I'm lucky I ordered them on April 29th, which I feel like is the day that Mr. Wayne Goss made his video about these foundations. Um, when I did my unboxing, I linked his video below in that video because he's the one that made me want to even purchase or give this foundation a shot because he says that this um, this company, this brand has superb 
products that have high-end ingredients and that are high-end quality for literally they're so affordable for like nothing basically they're so affordable and he's doing a whole series about their skincare stuff they not only have makeup but they also have skincare so i'm really interested to try out more products from this brand but these arrived to me yesterday i think so it took from april 29th basically a little bit over a month for me to get my product that's how sold out they were and that's how high in demand these products were would i recommend this yes i think it's a great summer foundation i haven't tried it in like direct heat and all that yet but I'm thinking that this is going to be one of my go-to summer foundations. I also have the shade Deeper Than This, 3.3 Neutral, which is way deeper. So I'm happy that I'll be able to mix them if I get darker. And I'm going to try out the other shade, 3.2 R, with the red undertone next. Just to see if it matches a little better. I feel like it's not super red. And it actually might look better than this shade. But I really like the way that this shade looks on my skin. Let me know what you guys think about this foundation. That is my first impression on it. It does everything that it claims, which all it claims to be is a high coverage, full coverage foundation. That's it. That's all it really says it does. But it's lightweight. It's long wearing on me. Like that was not a lot of oil. Y'all know that I get really oily. And there's some foundations within two hours, two hours. I'm like three times as greasy as what you just saw. So I'm really liking the way this looks and I love how it looks like skin. In person, it looks like I have flawless skin. This does not, it doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look like makeup. It looks like skin. I don't know how they did it, what they put in here, but it looks like skin in person. So yeah. And it's not like accentuating anything on my face. So yeah, I'm giving y'all close ups up close and personal. I'm trying to balance the light with the lighter part of my hand so you can kind of see better. So yeah, <laughs> so far I'm loving it. I'm gonna try out the 3.2 R on Monday and I'm gonna try out the Estee Lauder tomorrow. So be on the lookout for a demo an initial review and then my first impression video and then of course i'll do a full review on these later on like when it starts to really get hot and i've worn them all day and i have my dog and she licks my face and stuff and we'll see if the foundation lasts throughout that so again thank you so much for watching let me know what you think about this shade have you tried this foundation before let me know what your thoughts are down below i appreciate your support i appreciate you watching and i will see y'all in tomorrow's video where I review the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the shade 7W1 Spice. Deep Spice. Yes, Deep Spice. I'm so excited to try this foundation out tomorrow. And it'll be a get ready with me date morning at worship service. So I'm supposed to be having a date tomorrow. I'm supposed to be going to church with me. So we'll see if he shows up. <laughs> so stay tuned for that look tomorrow. This is just a very natural look as you can see. No eyeshadow. Did do a little blush, a little highlight, you know. A little lip gloss, but nothing special really at all. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I need to stop talking. I'm really excited about my dog. I'll show you guys a picture tomorrow when I do the Estee Lauder um, demo and initial review. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see y'all in the next one. Thanks. Love y'all. Bye, YouTube.